Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and I'm the creator behind mycreativedays.com uh, and I share all kinds of things, easy ways to decorate your home on a budget, furniture flips, thrifting tips, um, and all that stuff to just make your home exactly what you want without breaking the bank. So today I'm gonna share one of the easiest little hacks. Um, it's such a great way for you to add art to your home and not have to spend a kajillion dollars. And this is actually a way for um, you to get free art for your home and then um, a simple way to display it that um, so that it doesn't look just like a printed piece of paper, but it looks more kind of like a, like a real painting or a real piece of art. And it's just a simple hack and a simple way to do it. But I just thought I would share this with you. I am going to leave in the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to um, where um, I like to find free art that you can just print from your home. You can also print it from like a Staples or a, like a Walgreens, a CVS if you want a more, if you don't want, if you don't have a printer, you don't want to print it from your home. Um, printer, but um, I will leave a link to that because there are some amazing options. And here I'm just going to show you two of them that I printed off for this video. Um, but they have some just like vintage looking ones. I've done a couple that you'll see in the post linked in the description that are just some of my favorite. Um, so, so be sure to check that out. I, I thought I'd let you know. I went to the thrift store and I just found this frame for 88 cents. I've been searching and searching and searching for, I love old frames and like ornate frames because these just look, they just, they look a little more special if that makes sense um, in those kinds of frames. But when you want to go to a thrift store and find those things in a certain size, it is harder and harder. <laughs> it's like you can't find it. And then when you you know, you're not looking for this, but when I'm done with this, I will find a ton of ornate five by seven frames. Um, but of course, while I'm doing it, I'm not gonna be able to. So I do, however, so this is just kind of a plain wood frame. So this is, if you're like me and don't have patience and you have a project idea in mind and you wanna see it just come together right now, that's me. I love to DIY, I love to create things, but I'm not a very patient DIYer. So I am just going to, so I just grabbed this frame yesterday and um, I, the wood would actually, you know what? We'll see, I can always do it. I was just gonna add, here, let me just share this. I can leave a link for this in the descriptions below too, but. Rub and Buff is your DIY friend. This is a supply that I always have on hand. And um, it just, that one says gold leaf. It just adds a little bit of, um, it can just um, add a little bit of character and just kind of old charm to like a project like this. Let me just see. And whenever, you know, people will say, should I stain it? Should I paint it? Should I, I don't know what it's going to look. Always just try it on um, a little area and see if you're gonna, you know, like what it looks like. I like to buy this Robin Buff. I am just gonna do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and let me just move this down a little bit for you guys to see. I am going to cover this. Um, I like to buy the set of the Robin Buff. There is a um, set that kind of has more colors. I'm down to three colors. I do use it that often. Um, and if you're more, uh, if you're more light handed with it, you know, the less that'll go on. It's very forgiving. It's very, I just put it on a rag here. Um, it's, you know, easy to use. And it really does stay on things well. <clears throat> You can obviously buy these frames. I'm sure this is just like a dollar store frame, but it was 88 cents at the thrift store, which is cheaper. So um, I just picked it up quick. And it's it's just kind of a simple, simple frame. But see, when I'm adding this, this, what color is this? I don't know which one. This is Grecian gold. It just, 
adds a little bit more. I don't want that to be too much. Let's hold on the sides here. Can you see what I'm doing here? So yeah, so I just want to get in. You can use um, paint brushes too, but just use like an old brush that you're not worried about ruining because this stuff doesn't really come out of your brushes. So if you needed to get into like some more crevices than I really have to here, um, use a brush or a Q-tip. Q-tip would work too and then you're not ruining a brush. But I do always like to say if you, um, and then I do have to do the sides. If you um, are at your thrift stores or a yard sale or something and you find little like kids paint brushes or you know just smaller brushes on the cheap, I always, I pick them up for things like this. So, um, I, uh, because then I'm not, if it's just something I have to throw out. Um, I like to look at them at thrift stores and yard sales because sometimes the ones in the dollar stores just, they don't hold up for, and I know they're only a dollar, but like they don't even hold up throughout my project. So if I can find a little bit better ones at thrift stores, you know, I just, um, if you guys checked out, saw my last haul that I put on here, my thrifting haul, I do share those here on my YouTube channel. Um, I found a ton of small paint brushes. It was like somebody cleaned out their paint, their paint supplies and I got to pick them up for very inexpensive. And I got it, like I said, a ton of smaller ones that are perfect for projects like this. Okay, so look at how this is kind of with the, the pictures that I showed you. Um, make sure you put the lid on right away because it does kind of dry out um, easily. But if you have never tried this stuff, I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions. I'm telling you in the description, get it in your, in your arsenal of, of DIY supplies because um, you can use it on so many things to transform things in like seconds. That did not take long at all. So... This gives me a better look for these that I printed out. Um, they're just kind of like vintage little prints. So I'll leave the description on how to find those for free that you can print off um, totally free and you can use them. Um, but this is how you display them so they don't look like just like a printed piece of paper. It's just this simple tiny hack but um, it's nothing, you know, it's not rocket science or anything. So all I'm doing here is I'm just cutting out my print. Um, but just displaying it this way, especially in the, you know, like a, this looks like a gold, you know, old frame. It just looks so, so, so good. Like it makes it look at more, more like a real painting or like a real piece of art, if that makes sense. And it's just with what you do with the frame. That's it. I got some gold on the back of the frame. That's fine. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open your frame and you're going to take the glass and anything else that's in it. So sometimes there's cardboard in it or like a piece of backing or you know what I mean, whatever it is. And then what you're going to do is, okay, I just have to show you this. The gold like the way I put it on, not too thick, you can still kind of see some some of the wood and it just makes it look older. Like that's how an older frame would normally look. I'm picking them up all the time when, when I'm finding them and not they're not like on a list of what I need <laughs> and can actually find them. That's what they look like. So that rub and buff can give you that look on something new in just seconds. So what I'm doing is now I'm actually just putting in the print the glass is not in it yet. And that right there, that's the hack. That's that's all it is. And what I like to do is I like to put the glass then right behind the paper because for two reasons. Um, number one, let me kind of push these back a little bit more. I don't want to lose the glass for this exact frame. Like I don't want to put this in a drawer and then have just like a bunch of glass. Um, I know it goes with this frame, but it's also going to Fill the frame inside here so that print stays in place, right? And then if there was, like if this was an older frame and I had, this was a piece of cardboard or like, you know, some backing or something, I would lay that in there as well. Because again, I want that print to be, um, I want it to stay in place. You know, if it's really loose in there, it can move easily. 
um, but putting the glass back in there and then any backing or, you know, sometimes, like I said, it's cardboard or something else in there. It's just going to make it, um, oh my God. Do you see what I mean? I just love the way, anyway, so putting that all in the back, it just keeps it all in place. And so like, this isn't going to crumple or like fall down in the frame, if that makes sense, or kind of get moved to one side. You guys, in less than, I don't know how many, has this been 11 minutes and I've been doing a lot of talking. Look at the way this looks. This sitting on a shelf, it looks like a real painting. Like you picked up a little vintage piece of art. You know, you found it in a little antique store. You found it in a thrift store. And all it is, it's removing that glass just makes it look so much more like an actual painting or an actual piece. Um, and not just a piece of paper with glass on it. So just remove the glass from your pieces like this. It makes a world of difference. It's the easiest hack. I mean, it's seconds, but um, for 88 cents and uh, some, some rub and buff that, I mean, I used a, the little bittiest dab. So I have this for tons more projects. Um, I have like cute, like really pretty art for our home. Um, if you check out in the description, I'll leave the links to the post where I did this with a different frame. Um, and I can show you, I did a flower print and then I did another one that had some cows in it. it it's, it's one of my favorite things. And I, I found a kind of chunkier five by seven frame. I like to do these littler. You could always do them and print them off bigger if that's what you're looking for. But, um, we don't have huge walls to fill in our home with like bigger pieces of art, but I, I have shelves and mantles and just things where I just want a little something. And so I don't know if you can tell the detail on this piece. It kind of, the trees and, ah, uh, I just love this. I just love vintage looking art like this. Um, and to find this, I mean, if you found it in a thrift store, you know, usually it's less inexpensive than if you found it in an antique store, but um, this is just a way where you get the exact same look for next to nothing. And you may have the frames in your home already. Measure them, oops, and then print the print the um, prints off to that size and fit it. Rub and buff, spray paint, paint. Um, you can, you know, change out the frames and make them over however you like. But this is one of my favorite projects. It's one of my favorite hacks and it makes the biggest difference. So if you try it, let me know. Um, I would love to see what your art looks like. I would love for you to check out that free, check out the links in the description so you can find all the free um, art that you can source for your home. I'd love to see what you're finding on those sites. I can just sit there for hours and just browse the different things that are available. But um, now I have one more frame to find for this. And then I will have these... Um, all framed and done. So let me know if these easy hacks and easy projects are something you want to see more of. I love to hear from you, uh, but definitely try this in your home. It just makes the biggest difference.